my channel and today I have a home office decluttering video just five ways to help declutter your office your home office if it's not a home office maybe it's a crafting room or some type of room that you use to house like your it's your main hub and it could be small or large so basically the first thing or anything I like to do is kind of plan out what I plan on using that room for for example my home office I do have a business I do YouTube I do photography I have a lot of hobbies and things of that nature so it houses everything like that so in my office we it used to be a bedroom that we transport or trans formed, I should say transform into a home office. I had to decide what I want in my office instead of it being a mosh posh or a bunch of crap just in there. So I decided I needed craft supplies because I am a Girl Scout troop leader and I enjoy crafting all my photography equipment for when I do videos or take pictures. I also needed it to house a lot of my business information and things like that. So anything as far as like important papers or resources or documents. I also needed it for our personal. So our home life like warranties, medical records, Records, things like that I also needed in my home office and last but not least I also wanted my home office to also also house anything like electronics books um, DVDs or videos and things of that nature so let's go ahead and get started and you can come along with me help me declutter help me go through these things and decide where I'm gonna put everything so hopefully it can be a little bit more cohesive and a little bit more streamlined and feel a lot less light. So let's get started. All right, guys. So the first area of my office that we're going to tackle is this disaster of a closet. As you can see, it's a complete mess. I've been trying to organize it and have some sense of order in here. So this closet's going to harvest all of my craft things that I need either for crafting, for Girl Scouts, for projects and things like that. So I have a lot of it kind of all over the place in the office and my goal is to pull everything out and just literally put only craft things in here. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, like I said, the first area I'm going to tackle is my craft supplies. I'm going to use this closet to house all of my craft supplies. The first thing I like to do in the space is take everything out and reevaluate what I'm actually going to be putting back in that space. I've decided to make my craft closet perfect for stickers, markers, paint, sequins, glue, tape, and all of my sewing supplies along with any loose fabric and things of that nature. I clear the whole space out and use a multi spray to get all of the crumbs and dust out of the space before I put anything back in there. These shoe boxes I picked up from the Dollar Tree. Um, they were $1 and I did label most of them and I like them because they're clear because I can see everything that's in there. These red bins are also from the Dollar Tree and I use that for any spray paint and popsicle sticks and crayons that I have. I also organized all my pens, pencils, mechanical pencils, and markers as well. Moving on to the area that I want to call my photography supplies along with any media that I use for YouTube and for music as well. Um, I got this eight wicker shelving unit from Ikea and I love it. I basically pulled everything out. I decided all my paint supplies are going to go in the craft closet 
And I use this space for anything that I need for photography, such as props or things I need for my flat lays, anything I need for YouTube, um, such as anything such as props and things of that nature, and then all of my photography stuff. So lenses, lens cleaning kit, and all that jazz, along with my tripod and whatnot. I do have to say, after all of these years, I finally determined that in any space that you want to declutter and organize, you need to decide what you want to use that room for. You need to sit down and decide how you want the space to be organized. I sketched out and wrote out exactly what I want my office to house. And I decided there's five areas. Obviously, we started with the crafting, my photography slash YouTube, and any tech stuff that I need. I also decided for I need a personal biz, personal and business space for all of my files and paper and things of that nature. And then any books or media that I need for work. I am a dance teacher, so I needed those things kind of organized that I can pull and have easily accessible. I definitely had to move back and forth from each area because there were things that were spilling over to each area. So that was my biggest struggle in my home office was I had things that didn't really belong in particular areas. So it made it extremely hard to decide what I had and what I didn't have. And I seemed to buy excessive amount of stuff so I had a lot of doubles and triples so this will actually help save money because now I have a clear picture of what I exactly own. Now moving on to my desk. I need a clear surface so my desk obviously I use it for a lot of things and the first thing I needed to do was declutter all my personal and business files. I also had to declutter all of my DVDs and music. These are hard copies. Hopefully, eventually, I'll put them digitally away or stored away. But for right now, I decided what I actually wanted to keep. Last but not least, I have a huge collection of books and magazines. I love each of these books, but I did have to take a hard look at them and decide which ones I wanted to keep. Um, I use a lot of these things for references for either work or personal, so yeah. took my closet in my office this can be this office can be a bedroom as well so it did have a closet in it and basically what I did is I bought these little containers from the Dollar Tree and organized them with various things I put on the top shelf the things I don't use on a regular basis and then so forth all the way down there's glitter in them glue tape rhinestones feathers and things of that nature I did put in these little red bins that I would gotten from the Dollar Tree as well. I put spray paint, popsicle sticks, crayons, things like that. Down here are like extra folders and notebooks. And then I picked up these Rubbermaid tubs and this is kind of, 
you know, it looks a little cluttery, but it's very organized. I have all my paints in the smaller one, my sewing machine, my sewing basket. Um, in this bottom one, I have all of my crafting papers. In this, I have my stickers. This is my photographing or photography or videography supplies. I have my tripod bag in here, and then this is my umbrella stand and light stand. Underneath is a bag for all of my Girl Scout stuff when I do meetings and my bag for work. This little bin I got from Ikea and in there houses like extra fabric and cotton and I put a few rolls of wrapping paper in there. And then I have this hook I got from the Dollar Tree. It's holding one of my recyclable bags. So that's what's in my craft closet and I'm kind of trying to keep it all craft supplies with a few little extras. Right here I have things that we need quickly or fast my kids need for schoolwork or projects or even I do. I have markers and highlighters, paint pens, pencils, scissors, pens, and these little mechanical pencils my kids love. I have paper here for work and in here I have, I didn't have a whole lot of room in that closet so I have extra buttons, tape measure, pom-pom balls, and thread and some Girl Scout badges. I got these from Ikea. I actually broke one and I've yet to find. I need one more smaller one is what I think I want. But I haven't found these at Ikea. I'm not sure if they discontinue. If you know, let me know in the comments below. In here, I house some extra lenses for my camera. I have different cardstock for my um, flat lays and my camera bag, of course. This little bin right here, there's like eight baskets in here, and I have a few of these baskets that are quite empty, um, that because I decluttered so much stuff. So I'm not sure if I'm going to eliminate one of these shelving units from Ikea, but I know I'm keeping one because in here is extra like supplies for my essential oils or some of my products. I like beauty products and some things that I use for my photography like rocks and different things like that. Um, jars that I need for crafting things. There are some files in here for work and personal like tax returns that you save. I'm not sure how long you save those for. Seven, 10 years, 15 years. Let me know that in the comments below because I think I have about 15 years in there and maybe I need to shred a lot of it. I have stamps, things like that, extra crafting things for Girl Scouts and for photography. So this is kind of a mod podge of business and personal paperwork along with photography and crafting things. I do have this wicker three-tier stand that I have for bills or anything quick that I need to take care of on a weekly basis, cards, and then extra gift bags that are put in here. I have two boxes that need to go back, and in here I have some resources that I need to go through and look through. Paper organization here. So there you have it, my five ways that I decluttered my home office. What are ways that you help or did to your home office to declutter? I'd love to know in the comments below. And remember, if you don't, if you love, first of all, if you love any decluttering, cleaning, organizing videos, give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you want me to declutter next in the comments below, and I will hopefully be able to do a video for you. Remember to subscribe so you don't miss any videos from me. And by the way, to all my new subscribers, thank you so, so very much for subscribing and following me. It really gives me inspiration and motivation to live a more simple, easier, streamlined life, and it gives me more motivation to put videos out there for you. So if you're not subscribed, remember to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys real soon. So long.